Hello! Welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a mum of three from the UK. And you probably already know that because you're probably one of the many people who are already subscribed. If you're not, hit that subscribe right now, please. Uh, I do a little happy dance every time you do. And today we are going to be just having a brief chat about advent calendars. Um, I say advent calendars in the loosest sense of the term because um, for us it's not really advent <laughs> because we're not counting down to um, Christmas. We are counting down to Yule. Um, as we've talked about before, we um, celebrate Yule, uh, the wheel of the year, rather than the typical holidays of our um, of our country, which of course are Christian holidays. Uh, we, we do celebrate Christmas a little bit, but that's uh, mainly for our family's benefit rather than ours. Um, you know, our extended family who do celebrate. And um, I just wanted to chat a little bit about calendars, countdown calendars. Maybe we'll call them countdown calendars instead. Um, and usually we alternate. Um, we have, we'll do chocolate one year, and I do, uh, except me, who does chocolate every year. Um, <laughs> and then we'll do toys another year. So um, in the past, um, I've done all sorts of things and I thought I would share them with you. Um, obviously there's no good for this year because it started or maybe you are super disorganized and have not done it yet, which is fine. <laughs> but um, just a few ideas for kids for next year, maybe. So um, I have this year, we have done um, the big two, Charles and Bessie, who are almost 10 and almost eight, they asked for fidget toy calendars. Charles originally wanted Lego Avengers, but by the time I got around to getting them, they were not available in Tesco anymore and I couldn't get them online either, much to his upset. So um, he has had to just deal with having something else. And Bessie had already chosen to have um, a fidget toy calendar, but all of the ones I had found online were really really expensive and I they were like 35 40 pounds and I just wasn't willing to pay that so um, I said right okay I'm gonna buy a box of fidget toys I'm gonna wrap them up and then I'm gonna put them in the fabric advent calendars that we have um, and uh, and then we'll just do it DIY style this year uh, the kids were super happy about that so that was fine and I am sat here now with their boxes. Uh, Bessie is getting gingerbread paper and Charles is getting rainbow paper because that was the only other any other paper I had and I didn't want them to be the same just because then I wouldn't know which one's which. And they have already had a little look at the boxes so they know which ones are theirs and which ones aren't which is really annoying. Um, <laughs> so we've got little things like this like this little poppet I think this is supposed to be like some kind of alien spaceship or something there's a rocket in here as well. And I just, as I said, I'm just wrapping them up. This is a picture here of the advent calendars. The um, blue one was mine when I was a little girl. Um, when doing your own advent calendars started to become a little bit fashionable in the uh, early 2000s. Um, so that's mine. Some of the only things I kind of have kept from my childhood just because it's really sweet. Um, and I have lots of nice memories attached to it rather than negative ones. <laughs> I've got sellotape in my mouth. Um, and then the other one was made for Charles when he was um, a baby, when he was for his first Christmas, he was 11 months old, by his aunt, by his paternal aunt, um, who lovingly sewed it for him, uh, which he still absolutely loves it, and he still likes it hung up every year, um, even if he's not actually using it. It's still really, really special to him, so. Um, this is the fa my favourite one of the fidget toys that are in Bessie's. It's a pineapple, a rainbow pineapple, and you squeeze it like this. So I can get it to do it, and it, it's got these little poppet bits in the middle, and they're supposed to make a clicking noise. There you go. But only if you get it right. There you go. <laughs> That's my favourite one. Uh, but uh, now I can't have that because it's not mine. So. <laughs> Yes, I'm so glad to be back filming. I have done some filming since my last video. Um, it's just so many things happened, that just one after the other, that meant I didn't actually get time to edit them. I filmed loads of stuff, but didn't actually get time to edit it. Um, I will still put these videos up. They'll be coming in the new year. Um, and it's things like 
my guide to applying for DLA if you have children who are on the spectrum um, or your maybe yourself you're on the spectrum um, but it's mainly applying for your child um, and loads of other things like winter themed things and just other stuff there are some things that I have uh, that I now that were seasonal that I now won't put on um, but yeah so that's that I've now got four days worth of ones wrapped up for Bess and three for Charles so I will I've got another scrap of paper so I'm gonna wrap up another piece this is another thing that came with his that is really really weird it looks like a tree stump but look what happens when you squeeze it I'm gonna do that really close to the camera so you can see <laughs> it's a squirrel <laughs> Wee. Wee. <laughs> so Albert talking about going back to advent calendars Albert has got a um, Hot Wheels advent calendar and I will include um, a picture of that uh, here as well oh dear I'm throwing things you can see that just there um, I think it's absolutely adorable and I really really like it and the first day he got a purple car that he was really really impressed with and then today he got some kind of hook um he told me at like six o'clock this morning what was in it and I was not awake enough to pay attention yet so I was like oh that's nice and I think he's lost it since so it must have been quite small which got another little poppet here for Bessie it's just a keyring one and I love these ones I could pop them all day so I'm going to pop that in her. Uh, that's not Bessie. Why am I doing it? I always say, oh my gosh, hang on. Have I just opened one of Bessie's and given it to Charles? I have. That was dangerous, wasn't it? Almost wrapped up one of Bessie's and gave it to Charles. See, this is why you have to concentrate when you're doing these things. Right, what should I put in for Charles? So he's got um, a reindeer poppet. He's got this squirrel. Um, he's got these, like, not, not, um, bolts, nuts and bolts. We've got squishy animals, we've got squishy worms, we've got these which are like a little marble inside some thing which you just move around. I think I'm going to go for something small, I'm going to go for one of these nuts and bolts because they're a bit different and um, he hasn't had anything like that. I have wrapped them in it. So what you do is you are supposed to, I believe, there you go, so you take off the little washer. Take off the end, and then you just spin, spin it down, and then you put this back on, there you go, and then you can just spin it up and down. It's quite cool, so I'll wrap that up. Uh, Phil, I got, as you can see, I got a Nomo, no missing out, um, vegan, free from calendar. It's got 12 caramel and sea salt and 12 creamy chocks which are very nice. I had a creamy one yesterday and then had just caramel and sea salt today. Phil has got a Toblerone calendar. Again, I wanted to get him a Lego advent calendar, but they didn't have any in stock when I went to go and get it. Uh, serves me right. Um, after Christmas, however, this is a trick that I have learnt. Um, and uh, if you have local independent toy shops uh, nearby where you live, um, they quite often do Things like Lego advent calendars, Playmobil advent calendars, all of that sort of thing. And um, they're usually about £20. But if ha, 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 you go in after Christmas, and in the days after Christmas, you know that like lull between Christmas and New Year when shops are open for a little while. If you go in then, if they've got any left, they will have them probably half price or at least reduced in some way because they want to get rid of them because there'll be new releases next year. So we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, four. So there we go, they're all wrapped up, ready for um, the more ready for some other days. Kids. Oh dear. So yeah, that would be my tip is go and check out your local toy stores after Christmas, like Boxing Day, 27th, 28th, um, and yeah, see if you can get a reduced deal. That would be my that would be my trick. So, just a little one from me today. I will see you tomorrow for a, another Vlogmas video. Every day for like almost, what, for three and a half weeks we're going to talk to each other. Uh, no such thing as, you know, it's like definitely in, not even a baptism or fire, isn't it? We are jumping straight back in to videos and home education and family content. So, um, 
there are lots more things in the pipeline for the new year that I can't share with you yet. Um, <laughs> I will as soon as I feel comfortable sharing. Like everyone has a limit, don't they, of things that they're comfortable to share or when they're comfortable to share them. Um, I'm not comfortable to share a couple of things just yet. When I am, um, I will let you know. So yeah. Um, Feel free to guess in the comments my cryptic my cryptic things there. Guess in the comments what it might be. It's very exciting, hopefully, and uh, will be um, very lovely with, um, if if it does happen. So um, yeah, we'll see. I'm just looking at my plants and on my windowsill. I'm thinking I need to water them, and I also really need to clean the windowsill because it looks really dusty. Um, I don't know whether my I don't think my cleaner's coming in this week. She's probably not coming until next week. So. Yeah, maybe I could. I'm gonna have to do it in here. I think I'm gonna have to do the bedrooms myself and get her to do the other floors because she's super duper. It's always a bit weird, I think, when someone cleans, someone else cleans your bedroom. But yeah, anyway, I digress. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.